application so i will not build the code i will not write the code by myself okay i will ask chat gpt itself to write the code for me so writing the code and then compiling the code finding the bugs i will also ask chat gpt itself to help me to deploy the code in sap btp platform btp cloud foundry you can deploy the same on the ipl 2023 okay g.com so probably it will also not uh, able to answer the question because it did not got trained to produce tons of data millions billions of data now if you wanted to make some insights out of it you wanted to do the data analysis right or do the data modeling or whatever okay so for those purposes probably it will it will not be trained with this particular chat gpt right because they have not trained with your own company data or own personal data or maybe they like the latest data like this right now we are trying to solve this particular problem statement like we will be giving the training with our own data and then we will be asking anything our own chat gpt it should be able to own data and then probably i was talking about the data science kind of thing right so wherever you are doing the regression model or some prediction model right so those also you have your data you ask chat gpt or your own created chat gpt to do the data science job as well okay that is also possible do some kind of automation right so like um, like some customer service okay so uh, so when it will be interacting with your own data it is not possible to actually accurately uh, analyze your query and give you the accurate answer right so for that purpose also langchain will also use any of the large language model like chat gpt and then compile the answer final answer and can give you the result and not only your own database but let's imagine you do have some other apis okay let's say like google api or any other api let's imagine like you do have the google api or maybe like sap's api okay or maybe like any other cloud provider apis it can also interact with those kind of apis and can also compile the final result and then give it back to you so those kind of like chaining mechanism the agenting mechanism like so it is kind of working kind of like an agent right for you to interact with the large language model so those is being done inside this particular large language email id okay so if i just try to check this question so what is this email id although i have written i have the, there is a spelling mistake let's see but still it i recognize the things his email id is sap tech engineer at gmail.com it is also being taken from the from the pdf file itself this is the email id so that like whenever some relevant information will be passed it will try to easily find out the proper information okay so it is having its own vector index vector store so like just imagine something like this whatever okay whatever like this okay information based on the asked question so what it will do is it will again go to the chat gpt now okay or hugging face whatever it is going to the chat gpt with the relevant information and then it is asking chat gpt to refine those information for a better a better response purposes right so it is now going to this chat gpt and refining those information and not only that whenever the uh, relevant information is being passed to the chat gpt also the raw information also is getting passed to the chat gpt so this chat gpt now having raw information as well as the filtered relevant information now it compiles everything and then it will try to give you the best possible answer to you right so like this it is happening the entire things are happening so now this is your answer so not only answers you can also do some kind of action out of it okay so let's like after getting those information you wanted to send emails or maybe like you want to initiate some workflows or you wanted to call some apis anything and everything can be possible with using this lang chain so this you can just imagine this orchestrations are happening within this lang chain so lang chain understanding this lang chain technology 
is also very important. OK, so we'll go there now. There can be chain of action as well, so I'm just trying to put it like this. So this is how the entire system will work. So as because we are more and more talking about the lang chain, let's move into the lang chain part and try to understand a little bit from a high level perspective so that going forward you can do also own research and can also build your own knowledge base, right? So let's go ahead and check what is lang. OK, so it is kind of like orchestrator agent. It will work like that. OK, so how to uh, how to actually install lang chain? It is also very simple like pip install lang chain like you do some other installation. By the way, so when I was actually building this particular project, I have already installed the required packages by using the pip. Pip is Python package manager. OK, so so here I have already installed the lang chain pip install lang chain pip install open AI. OK, so those are the things I already installed it here. OK, and uh, probably I'll, I'll just give you all the libraries whichever I have installed. OK, so so that you can also try it. And by the way, at the end, I will also put this code to the GitHub so that also you can try just push and uh, just pulling the code and you can try in your own. Okay, so let's say I wanted to have uh, this kind of things like uh, question over documents, right? Actually, the code that I have used, those are also to ask the question through this chat with through this command line interface. I don't like that. I wanted to have a UI for that. So let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT itself to build the UI for this particular application. So what I'll do is I'll be just copying the same code and I'll just go ahead and ask ChatGPT to build the UI for me. So I'll just go ahead. I'll create a new one. What I'll do is I'll just can you please help me to make a UI HTML for below Python program so that instead of taking the input from command prompt from I will take the input from UI or HTML file, HTML code, and as well as it is giving one more Python code. Okay, so which it is, and everything it is described. So you just read it, use the code, read it, use the code, and even how to use the code. That is also you can you can ask ChatGPT. Okay, how to use the code. So it has created one index.html and one app.py. Maybe I'm not sure. Like there might be some folder structure difference, right? So where to put the index.html, where to put this app.py, I'm not sure. I'll ask ChatGPT itself. Uh, give me the folder structure. So give me the folder structure as well, okay? Because I am not sure how to actually put the code. I have, uh, I'm a newbie here, okay? Project folder would be, so app.py should be in the root directory. And inside that, I have to create a new folder templates, uh, place this index.html, okay? So let's create an index.html first app.py. Okay. So it will click on that. It is giving me this output. So I have my HTML, I have my backend code, everything ready. I have my uh, this UI. Maybe like it is not so fancy UI, but that's fine as of now. You can modify it a little bit more later on. So let's ask a similar question to this. Uh, the um, thing strained is the answer actually. So the point is now let's try to deploy these things to our BTP Cloud Foundry. So for that particular purpose also, what I'll do is I will be asking, I don't know what to do uh, when we need to deploy it to the Cloud Foundry. So let me ask the same thing to ChatGPT itself so that I will get the answer. So how to, how to deploy a project in SAP BTP Cloud Foundry? OK, so it is saying you have to use you have to create this manifest file. OK, so you have to create just this management file. Just do the CF push. OK, so these are the information that it is giving here. OK, so first of all, actually to deploy it to the Cloud Foundry, you also have to log in studio from your Visual Studio code to the Cloud Foundry. So that information also given. I will just do this CF login. So this is my space. If I just go here. This is my space. OK, so now it's time to deploy. I already logged in from my and here I'll just put the same manifest file and probably I'll just use a different name. Let's say like AI. Podcast one. 
So I can I, I can ask that. Okay, so give me the requirement dot txt file for below code. Okay, like that. So langchain, OpenAI, and Flask. So these are the things, three things I need to put in my requirement dot you, you will just get in there, uh, some error, right? Just to speed up the process, I'm just putting all the other requirement dot txt packages, and almost I'm ready now. Prop file, okay. Saying okay, so inside the prop file you have to use this particular code. Okay, save the prop file uh, like this. Same name. I'll just put same name actually. New file, prop file without any extension, and I'll just copy the same code. Copy code. Paste it. If you observe previously, I was I was giving the command Python app dot pi, but when it will get deployed to the Cloud Foundry. I will not be there to run the command, right? So this is prop file will all prop file actually execute this particular command uh, on behalf of me in Cloud Foundry, and then everything will actually start running. Okay, so now as because I am there in my Cloud Foundry logged in, uh, now it's time to do the CF push. Let's see what is happening. What actually happens when you try to? Yeah, so this is the Cloud Foundry architecture simplified. And just go ahead and check this particular video. Okay, so let's come back. Uh, my application got deployed successfully. I can also go and check my application from here, like AI Podcast One, and I can see it is started running. So that means it is working properly. If I just click on that, I have this URL. I'll just go. You can see it got deployed to my Cloud Foundry itself, the BTP Cloud Foundry itself. So this is. No more my local running application. So now what I'll do is I'll be asking uh, kind of like similar question. Okay, so who I think like you are getting bored. So with the same question, I can ask when is my AI podcast? Your AI podcast is scheduled for February 7, 2023. Okay, is it really? Really? I have given like that. Let me check it back. Okay, so this date format it is taking like a 0 to as of February. Okay, so this particular theorem it is giving me this result. Yeah, so it has the documentation as well. The similar thing. Okay, similar thing like we have done all this OpenAI, uh, Tik Token, all those libraries, and using these things. Just probably you have to use these things, uh, and you are good to go then. So similar thing we have used it here as well. Okay, thanks a lot. It's very nice session. Uh, definitely.